Gold mining processing method is one key aspect of mineral extraction in Ghana that leads to environmental destruction in both small and large scale gold mining. It is for this reason Professor Grace Ufori Sapon of UMAT, who is the first Ghanaian female professor in minerals engineering, has undertaken a study into better environmentally friendly gold processing methods, presenting the findings at her Professora inaugural lecture on the microhydrometallurgy research work at UMAT, Professor Grace Ofori Sapon proposed the use of microorganisms to process gold without polluting the environment. The significance of my lecture, when we talk about gold, we all love gold. Gold is found in rocks. The particles are very, very small. So when the rock is hard, we need to break the rock and get access to the gold before we can take it. Some of the rocks, even after breaking, the gold is still hidden in some shells that we cannot break. And so we have to do pre-treatment. Pre-treatment, we can use various methods. But some of them, for example, we burn roasting and it pollutes the environment. So we are using microorganisms. Microorganisms are living organisms, but they are just tiny, tiny. We cannot see with our eyes. So microorganisms are able to break down the rocks, release the gold, so that we can take it. In this case, we are using fungus. The fungus lives in the environment, so it's available. So if we, are, we use that to break the rocks, we are not polluting the environment because it's already in the environment. Professor Grace Ufori Sapon, who is also the first female professor from UMAT, said the feat she has reached should be an encouragement for women to seek new heights. So that makes me feel so good. And already, I have a platform where we motivate the younger ones. So this has added to the credentials where, you know, we have a lot of stories to give to the younger ones so that they will also move up. We say that the sky is not our limit. The sky is only a springboard. So they jump on it, somersault, into the higher levels. The Vice Chancellor of UMAT, Professor Richard Kwesia Mankwa, said the feat attained by Professor Ufori Sapon as the first Ghanaian female professor in minerals engineering is symbolic and good for the mining industry and UMAT. Also speaking to City News on strengthening the connection between academia and the mining industry, the Vice Chancellor said the UMAT summit with managing directors and general managers of major mining and related companies has discussed improved ways of training the right mining expert for the Ghanaian mining sector. As a university, we should be able to train our students well to fit into the industry. And these are the key people who run the industries in Ghana. General managers, um, managing directors of the mining and allied industry. So we thought of bringing them together to engage them on how, first of all, they can help the university to promote our programs and also how they can help us to train our students in such a way that they will feel comfortable employing them. And we also talked about how the standards in the minerals industry can be brought to town. For City News, I'm Akwesia Jenim. Takwa.